Why, hello everyone. Welcome to Playframe, and welcome to Chia. This is a game which is not yet out. It's uh, supposed to be coming out sometime early this year. Uh, but I've been very curious about it ever since I started seeing trailers, and the game's creators were kind enough to send us a preview build, uh, which I am now going to demonstrate for you. This is a game, as you can see on screen right now, that was inspired by the island of New Caledonia, and I would get into the explanation for that, but I think the preview is about to do that job for me, so let's begin. A word from the devs. Hi, welcome. You're about to start your adventure into the world of Chia. We would like to give you a little bit of context on what you're about to play. They're doing this a lot better than I could, so thank you. Chia is a game inspired by New Caledonia, a small island in the Pacific Ocean. It is Awaseb's co-founder's homeland, and this game is a love letter to this very special place. The game is deeply inspired by local landscapes, cultures, music, language, folklores, and traditions. Characters are voiced by local talent in French and Trehu, the most prominent languages in New Caledonia. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that second language not quite right, but you get the idea. You will get to visit our renditions of famous landmarks and biomes, and listen to an original soundtrack influenced by local sonorities and performed by traditional artists and choirs. Still, the world and story of Chia are purely fictional. Names, topography, cultural details, and folklore have been changed out of respect for tradition, and adapted to create a fun and engaging experience. Above all, we wanted the game to feel universal and accessible to anyone around the world. Chia has been a labor of love from a very small team of various origins and cultures. It was a blast to create, and we hope that you'll have a blast diving into our world. Thank you so much. From the whole Awaseb team. I love that, and I really appreciate that they <laughs> added all that here in the beginning because they said it a whole lot better than I would have. Let's start game. Now, I believe that this preview build is going to uh, drop us in probably a few hours into the experience, and uh, it only contains a small amount of the game, like one island, I think, and uh, uh, just a handful of things to do, maybe like a few hours of gameplay total. I'm not going to do all of it, I'm just going to show you what we can do here in a little under an hour, but uh, it should be enough to get you an idea, hopefully. quoi je... Ah, on s'en fout pas mal. Tu veux savoir, je veux quoi, moi Du crabe. Je tuerai pour du crabe. J'irai bien en charger moi-même, mais on va plus à Cueo à cause des gens de Unami. Ah, oh, on n'a rien contre eux, hein Mais eux, ils nous détestent. Apporte-moi du crabe et on discutera. <rire> All right, you got a deal. Also, like I said, this is a game that is not out yet. It is uh, <laughs> still in development actively, and uh, it is very possible we will encounter bugs along the way. This is just how it goes with game dev, so if we see anything weird, that's probably why. Let me, hang on, let me adjust camera controls real fast, just for my sake. Okay, we're in business. Oh, we got a crab cage. Could push that around. That'd be fun. <laughs> hey, what's going on over here? A food stand. Nice. I hope they don't mind we just did that. <laughs> I guess before I go running off, let me go see if there's anyone else who wants to talk or something. I've lost my sunglasses again. I guarantee you it's them walking. One day I'll catch one, I swear. I just need to figure out what they look like. I kind of love this, like, concept, like, make a game to show off your home or a part of your culture or world or experience that you know but a lot of the rest of the world probably hasn't been exposed to. As the, as the game industry in general just, like, spreads and more and more uh, small studios and game creators start, like, kind of popping up in more places around the world, I'm, I'm just really hoping we see more and more of that because I'd really just love to be exposed to more places and peoples and things that I don't yet know about through the medium that I <laughs> most enjoy. Ooh. I got a trinket. I bet I could get a chicken egg around here somewhere. This seems like the place. I have a good feeling. 
Chickens, do you mind? Wait, hang on. Better idea. I'll see what this is. Ooh. A stamina fruit. Nice. Stamina increased. Again, I hope no one here minds that I'm doing this. Marked on map a braided trinket. Oh, mine now. Really enjoying the colors and just the vibe in general. Very soothing. But okay, we were directed to go crab fetching. If I just if I just push all these into the water. Will that do the job? I'd like to think yes, but probably more complicated than that, huh? These are a lot of good options. Okay, we could eat, play ukulele, sleep, change outfit. What sort of outfit options do I have, if any? Ooh. Different dress patterns. This is great already. Here, we'll stick with traditional for now. I'm way too curious about the ukulele thing. Ooh, okay. Free jam mode. Show tips. Uh, selecting chord this way. Bend note with the right stick. That's cool. It's quite robust. I like it. All right, but I gotta stop slacking. I was given a job. And a whole dang island to explore. Big rock. <laughs> I'm quite strong. Now, what have we got here? A Miovara statue. It's quite cool. Can I just, like, read about it here, or do I need to go into a menu? Oh, okay, well, this, this is probably useful anyway. Let's see. Our objectives. We need to get one red crab from Quail. Really sorry for all the names I say wrong. <laughs> I am not at all f familiar with the uh, local languages or pronunciation. I just got here. Extra offerings including trinkets, chicken egg, ancient tooth fragment, taro, yam, trophy from any challenge. Trace camp is here. Okay. Where are we? Oh, cool. Nice. Okay. So we're going here. Just need to go a little further. Got it. Okay. What else do we have in here in the meantime? Journal. Nice. Lots of good information, which... No reason to get into spoiling any of that. Okay. Yeah, I'm just testing some more of my buttons here. Let's see. We've got a Breath of the Wild style little glider. Very helpful. Ooh, we've got a slingshot, looks like. What are the buttons? Jumps. Uh, we can sit or crouch. Ooh, we're close. Hello? Wait. I see a source of light, but that might be the statue again. Oh, well. 
Hard to say. Map. Hmm, need to go further. It's kind of cool that it doesn't show you exactly your location. You can just kind of see the map and then you can sort of ask the character and the character gives you kind of like ballpark right around here. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It makes it feel like the character is much more familiar with the uh, location than you might be. Don't mind if I do. There we go. Let's see. I'm probably going a little too high up here. But I am enjoying the sights. And from here, if I need to go somewhere further down, man, we are set. Yeah, I think I need to go a lot further, actually. That away. Woo! We should probably... I did this original jump not thinking a whole lot about my stamina situation. Let's, um... <laughs> I don't know if there's fall damage, but I'd kind of want to be... <laughs> a little careful with that. Burn all the fabric piles. Ooh, okay. I'll keep an eye out. This is a neat little environment. What a cool little biome. Hello? Lovely game, too, for a team this size. Wait. You. Come here. I've got you. Ha ha! Success! Oh, we have some options. So I could drop, throw, stow, or soul jump. I'm going to stow, but the soul jump functionality is one I'm very curious about. Because that is a big part of this game. So, with Soul Jump, we can hop into and temporarily occupy all of our little animal friends. And I think a lot of objects in the world as well. Now, there's a limit to how long we can. I think it's that uh, meter down there. But it can allow you to... Uh, well, honestly, I don't even know what all it'll allow you to do, but uh, I'm very curious to see just all the interactions available because I can pinch... <laughs> Hello, fellow crabs. How's it going? I have a little flower on my head. <laughs> I only just now realized. Okay. I also feel like I saw in a little uh, preview video they sent along, they demonstrated that there's some cool movement tech you can do. Woo! Yes. <laughs> you can climb trees and fling yourself off them for some extra speed. And apparently you can even use the uh, little soul link thing for in clever ways to get some speed too. Which I'm curious to see. Okay. Soul jump! Now I am rock. <laughs> and moving pretty fast for a rock. I'm sure you'll agree. Rocks are far faster than children. All right, we're out. And I return. Plus one crab.
Got a crab delivery. Oh, hope I reach. Not quite. Close enough. No, no. <laughs> we should fix that bridge. Wait. Thank you. You there. Wait, was that you? I think you might be the one who wanted the crab. Let's help with the cooking. Donc, euh, c'est quoi ton nom? Chia. Toi, c'est Louise, c'est ça? Tu viens d'où? De loin. Une petite île qui s'appelle Uma. This is cool. Pourquoi t'es toute seule dans le coin? Je cherche des offrandes pour rencontrer mes avora et lui demander de libérer mon père. Ma mère, elle aime pas mes avora. Elle dit que c'est devenu bizarre depuis qu'il est au pouvoir. T'as besoin de quoi Euh... Un poulet mort... Ah Ah On a des poulets Je peux t'en donner un demain Oh, ce serait trop chouette. Hmm. It's making me very hungry. That's fun. I get to play along. Badly. Ah. I can also switch on to autoplay, which is nice. All right, I'll try some more. Badly. I'm getting it. charming honestly I didn't think I did 72% good
Christa, attends. Elle est près de Goutou. Hey. Ooh. Gabby's treasure map. A hand-drawn map and an old key. It must lead to something valuable. All right. Right-click to open your world map. Y to display the treasure map. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I can just do that without pulling out the whole menu. That's nice. And... I see. Okay. And... That general vicinity... So it looks like southeast of here are good ways. Well, better get moving, I suppose. Let's check the journal entry on Louise. I don't want to read through, like, everything here, but I am curious what sort of, uh, entries we're getting here. Gabby's daughter, shy at first, but always willing to help and make new friends, can handle herself around the farm, loves to sing. Uh, ooh, let's look at these. This will actually be very helpful. Uh, stamina is consumed when performing intense activities such as climbing and gliding or taking big hits. When it reaches zero, you'll pass out and wake up at the nearest campfire. Uh, Chia's soul meter represents her remaining soul jump capacity. Replenish it by eating, upgrade it by completing shrine challenges. Soul jumping allows you to warp into any animal or small object to take control of it. Uh, when controlling an object, you can aim and project, uh, project it toward a target while unpossessing it on the spot. Very useful when uh, with explosive objects like uh, oil lamps. You can grab and throw... Uh, check your backpack, use slingshot, ukulele, powerful mystical tunes, uh, soul melodies. These are powerful mystical tunes that can affect the world around you, unlocked by completing uh, rock balancing challenges. Flashlight, glider, climbing, tree swaying, tricks, sliding. Oh, goodness, there's a lot you can do. Exciting. Now, do we have a spot on our map that indicates where we should look for our new friend here? Last known location of Tia. This it is kind of cool having it not show your exact location on the map. Like, last known location, sure, but not, <laughs> not your current one. Really good for encouraging the exploration. So this I am gathering is my, well, if not my current main objective, one of them. Meet Luis. Does it have that L? Oh, no, wait. Okay. Luis is over here. Let's see if we can make our way over toward Luis. Just to on the other side of the mountains. How hard could it be? What sort of tricks shall we use for ascending? I'm sure we have a climb. Yes. But we might need more than that. Given how much height we're probably going to have to cover. Assuming we don't... I guess we could just kind of go around the steepest parts, right? That might be smart. And easier. Although there are some creatures up here. That's kind of cool. Hey. Hey, hold up. I'm a deer now. And as a deer, I can sprint. Oh, this is much faster. Pretty good with the verticality, too. This was a good idea. All right. Thank you for the help. There we are. Okay. While we're up here, anything else of interest? The little bits of smoke, I'm guessing, are... other campfires we can find. What's this? A food stand. 
for food. Binoculars also. Can I have these? Can I just borrow them? I suppose I could stow them or soul jump into them, which that doesn't seem exactly helpful. Let's, uh, let's stow. So long as you guys are... Y'all seem okay with that. I'm gonna keep it. And eat food. Yeah, this is making me very hungry. Ironically. Thank you. Ooh. What's this? A point of view. Cool. Yeah, this is gorgeous. You know, as long as we deer climbed all the way up here, we should really get to the top. Hey, bird. Do you mind? Yes. Wait a minute. Hmm. <laughs> Burn all soldiers. Ah, these things. Mono camps. The mono are brainless soldiers spawned by Mevora from pieces of fabric. Use fire or explosions to get rid of them. Make sure to burn down the fabric piles for a reward. Interesting. Be swift, keep moving, and use soul throws. Okay. Do we dare? Here, let me, um... Check up here a little further. Oh, I could do, like, a little race. And also... Oh, well, here, bird, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you for the help. What's this now? This is neat. I don't want to do a race right now, but I will... pin that on the map. Now it helps us find more little points of interest, too. Nice. Lots of them. What are these? Oh, some collectibles nearby. Awesome. Okay. Got to a nice high area, but yes, I do want to see about attempting this. Reckless, perhaps, but... All right. Hello. Aim. And, uh... Fire. Seems to work. Oh, dear. Hmm. Let's see what else we can uh, achieve here. Oh dear. Look out. Catch! Ha ha! I'm starting fires and you can't stop me, hopefully. Look out. Careful there. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Huh. Yeah! Skills! Ooh! And something underneath all that. Ooh! A red pattern for my cloth. And pants. These are good finds. Let's see here. Uh... We need to be heading generally this direction, but I am wondering what this is. Wait a minute. Oh, a trinket, of course. And a wonderful launching point. Hmm. I think, let's see, there's that island out there, so it's just a little ways more that direction. And don't think we're going to be able to glide all the way across all that. Maybe we'll look over here. Keep an eye out for more birds along the way. Or, 
Um, oh, a stamina fruit. Yay! So my max was 36. Now it's 37. All right, nice. Excellent. Not seeing a bird yet and don't want to really chance doing the wait. Bird. Now you're too far away. That's fine. I have legs and a glider. I'll make it work. Or hold up. Yes, good. This will work. Woo! Yes! That's the way to do it right there. Yeah! That's quite fun to do. Big fan. <laughs> what other kinds of wildlife could I temporarily become? Another of these. Still quite curious what these are. Hello. Oh, I won't bother you. I can make it. Although, if I do see something new and interesting... Like this. What's this? Oh, it's just a shrub that looks really interestingly shaped from a distance. <laughs> I think this might be the spot. This looks promising. Also has a campfire. I assume, yeah. Perfect. A new little checkpoint and a great spot for further customization. I want red cloth. Ooh, traditional ukulele. I like it. Go with that one. And... Ooh, we could do some bracelets. Sure. More traditional armbands. Oh, I like the bracelets better with this look. Masks as well. Let's go with the curls. Curls are fun. All right, all right, all right. Really gonna need to eat after this. Before I attempt to record anything else, clearly. What does sleeping do? I mean, sleep, obviously, but, like... <laughs> Passes some time. Hello? Hmm. This is someone's spot. You know, I'm gonna sleep some more. It's a little dark out here. Hard to see. That's better. Okay. Now, I thought we'd be in the right spot to find our new fr- Oh, there you are. Success. Hello.
Oh, yes. I love how musical this game is. There's, that's a bigger element than I expected. Lovely. And I've improved. Practice does make perfect. Lead on. Um. Where'd you go? Hello. Hello. Hmm. Maybe I'm going too far. Let's see. Are you marked on the map anywhere? That would probably be a thing worth checking. Oh goodness, you're all, yeah, you're back, you're back home now. Okay, uh, let's see. I'll, yeah, why not? I'll head back there. Hanging out with you has been nice. Dang, deers are fast. Shame I am out of that, uh, Soul Link resource, though. And I don't know... Oh, nice! It does refill all the way. Cool. I was worried that I was going to need to eat food in order for it to, uh, come back. Oh, it does only refill to two, though. Good to know. I return! Hello! I'm a bird now. Hiya! Thanks, bird! For the lift! Tu voulais un poulet mort, c'est ça? Oh dear. Um. Ouais, il reste vivant pendant quelques secondes. Mm. 
je, je crois. Pour que tu me montres un peu tes aventures. Essaye-le. Oh, that's nice of you. A camera. An old camera. It has a timer, a flash, and comes with a bunch of lenses and film stocks. You'll have to develop your film at a photo kit to discover your pictures. That's kind of cool. Okay. Let's try it. Gotta take a photo of our new friend here. Oh, good. Yes, do poses. Let's see. Zoom in a little. And, uh... You're out of focus. Let me see if I can fix that a bit. There we go. That helps a little. Yep. Better. Okay. <laughs> These are good poses you have. Perfect. You got it. If you think about it, I'm taking 60 of them a second right now. Also, this, yes. This I wish to try. How do I boat? Hang on. Trying various buttons to see if I can successfully boat. Hmm. I'm not like anchored or tied down right now, am I? Maybe I should check. Yep, that was the problem. Now... If I press buttons... Still nothing. Ah! That makes sense. I'm still new. Oh, cool. Okay, 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 okay. Wow. Hold on. I'm not very good at boats yet, but give me a moment. I'll, uh, get this figured out. Alright, let's get ourselves just, like, a tiny bit of forward speed. And then... Yes. Then we can steer ourselves out of here. So what I'm wanting to do now, now that I've, uh, hung out with my new friend a bit, this is the other spot on the map still. And I figured I really shouldn't wrap up this video, little preview thing here, without going and seeing that marked spot at the very least. See what that's about. So let's see if I can manage to uh, steer us there without sinking. And to get to some open water. A little faster, there we go, yeah. Technically, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be going way more north than this, but I'm having a good time. Thanks for the signs. Appreciate that. Not too much further than I think we can... Uh, ooh, there's a little settlement there. Ooh, I hope we can get under this. Uh, okay, ooh, close, but yes. And yes, ah, oh, yes. More open water. Full speed ahead. And then turn around, so full speed the other way. It's 
Some lovely water rendering, too. Once we get where I'm going, I'll try doing a little bit of, like, swimming and diving, too, and to see what all is allowed there. Ooh. Now this looks interesting. Sit tight here. Hang on. Hang on. Slow speed. Slow speed. Slow, 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 slow. Anchor. Anchor! Drop anchor! This I must investigate. Because this looks great. Yeah! This spot needs a campfire. This is the perfect camp, although tide may be a concern after a while. Hadn't really thought that part all the way through. Tide may be a factor as to why there is not a campfire here. Still, though. Good little reef. Let's try diving. Yeah. Ooh, there's something over here. Yeah, it's fun just exploring around. Ooh, a clam pearl. Nice. Wait a minute. If I can spot a fish. That seems like a pretty fun thing to try. Yeah, just wandering around and kind of exploring on this island is really fun. Just trying out everything, seeing what all you can do. Hold on. Is that a something? Turtle. Turtle and... wait. And maybe like shark or something? I think, um, hang on. Oh, dolphin. That's much less scary. Good. I really enjoy that I get to keep my, uh, <laughs> flower in the hair on whatever creature I've, uh, <laughs> temporarily hopped into. Very good. Okay, though, we should we should take our boat the rest of the way. Thank you, turtle, for allowing me to be a passenger. Ah, here we go. Okay. Ooh, it's getting foggy. Or at least very atmospheric. And I thought I saw something that looked like a little bit of a settlement ahead here. Of sorts. We're definitely in the vicinity of the location I was working my way toward. Yeah, I do see something up here. Okay, let's, uh, hello, Dolphin. Not meaning to trouble you here, just, uh, I should probably slow down quickly, or, you know, this'll work out. Good enough. Anchors away. <laughs> Ooh, is this a greenhouse? And bananas? Cool. Hello? Anyone home? What a neat little spot. I wonder if in the full game there will be some more characters kind of wandering around these spots. I would not be surprised.
even this way. Pretty peaceful. Hello there. <laughs> well, let's see. I think I'm headed in the general direction. Yeah, I think, yeah, okay, I'm like right up here. And trying to get to the center of this little heart here. Well, large heart. You know what I mean. So right over there. My navigational skills are improving. Granted, I could use the compass, which does also often show you, like, uh, yeah, you can have a version of the compass that also shows you objective locations, which is nice. Though it is also kind of fun once you figure out how to use the tools, just uh, trying to see if you can find your own way there. What is the thing we're trying to do here? I should check that. Uh... Eh, not really sure. We'll figure it out when we get there. Hey, birds. I'd always use a few more of those. I think I've gone a little too far north here. Yeah, I wonder what this kind of space is called, like uh, shallows with uh, all these trees. It's really interesting. I, like, I've never in real life been to any kind of a spot, sort of like this forested little area here. This looks promising. What have we here? Ancient tooth fragment. Ooh. I'll keep it. Do I need multiple? Should I try soul jumping it? This doesn't seem to be what I'm trying to do. Interesting. Well, I'll grab a few more. Does it say how many I wanted in here? Uh, okay, I just needed one. Awesome. And that we've got. Beyond that, we just need a chicken egg, taro, yam, and a trophy from any challenge. Okay, yeah, I've been aimlessly wandering a bit here, but I have <laughs> gathered a couple of things. Let me see if I can real quick uh, gather the rest of those. And we'll kind of skip over a lot of the travel time in between here, just to see what happens once you've uh, got all those extra offerings. Because now I'm quite curious. Let me go see what I can find. Well, I found a lot of neat campfires, and here's an interesting place. Don't know if it's a useful place, but cool. Hello. Do you know the legend of the masked warrior? There is even a video game about it. Am I super bad at fishing, or are they super smart fishes? Have you ever petted a centipede? It is a unique experience. I haven't tried, I'll be honest. Sorry if I'm scaring the fish. I think this might be another braided thing, which I don't... Need more of. I've got a lot of those now. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing. What I need to do is go back to a village, and it might be even at the starting village that there were a lot of the things like the egg and the taro and other things that I could have gathered there. Or if not that start that village, then other ones nearby. And I'm going to start looking for some more inhabited areas to see if they have more of the things I need.
Update. It's raining. A lot. Wait, what's this? I don't know if this is much, but it's something. Hang on. Stop. Anchor. Don't know if this is anything I need, but I'm curious now. Oh, hello, silver goal. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. Hey, what's up? Oh, I can use the dock. Oh, this is how you can fast travel. I see. Okay, so if I find docks, that's, that's how you... I wondered. I'd, so it wasn't like fire, uh, campfires, and I was wondering, oh, but there's got to be some way you can fast travel, I bet. Uh, and it turns out, yes, it's the docks. Cool. That's a cool way to do it. Neat. All right. Well, that doesn't help me immediately, but... Still useful, and a good way to spawn boats, too. I was, like, feeling like I needed to be traveling by boat, so I didn't leave my boat anywhere. But this is, this is better. I like this. Now I can just feel free to... Get some assistance from birds or dolphins or whatever else getting places a little faster. And I, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of this stuff that I'm just sort of like learning as I go is stuff that they would tutorialize in the early hours of the game. But it has been fun just kind of discovering it as I go. And here we are, back, I think, in our starting area, yes! Ooh! Here's a challenge I can do. That's a start. A shooting range, yes! Begin challenge. Oh, goodness. There's a lot to hit all of a sudden. Haha! -ha. Eh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Even just little stuff along the way you can get points for, that's nice. Eh. Score too low, keep trying. Oh, I was really close though. Let me try again, I can, I can do better. Now I'm ready. Oh good, you can still hit the targets even when they're like sideways facing. If you're feeling especially skilled. Yes. Cool music, too. Hey, there we go. Got a trophy, a silver one. Which is good enough for me. What am I missing now? Chicken egg, taro, yam. Got it. A lot more of that probably was just hanging around in this, uh... Village we started in, or near. Like, cause yeah, we were more around there. I didn't come up to this part. What other stuff is there around here? Sculpting stand? Oh, cool! This game is really cool. I like it. So it looks like I can also choose to stop whenever I want to, and I think I might. I see. I need to, well, maybe make one that matches these, or maybe these were practice ones. Whatever the case, I like it. I'll leave it here as inspiration for the next artist. I don't suppose you have any ingredients I could borrow, do you? Can't you see I'm busy? Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt, I'm just... 
I'm on a bit of a fetch quest here, and I've got some specific ingredients I kind of need. But you don't seem to have the ones I need, so I'm not going to steal them from you. Know that I would have, though, if they were the ones I needed. Excuse me, I see that you have chickens. Do you have a chicken egg I could borrow? Food is life. Food will make you whole again. True that. It's just that there's a need for eggs, which I have, and I'm... Hmm. I'll ask the chickens. Chicken, could I borrow an egg? Please. If I ask very nicely. No. Sorry, chicken. Didn't mean to disturb. I'll ask some other chickens. Ooh, here's another place. Getting a little bit better at using my abilities, too. It's kind of fun stringing them together. Ooh. Getting the remaining items I need may be more involved than I thought. So it might not all be happening in this video, but we can at least have a look around here and see if we spot anything. Hello, cow. There's another shooting range. Um, a dock. That'll be helpful. Hello. There we go. Very nice. Hello. Those totem shrine doors, apparently they haven't been opened in centuries. Ooh, I haven't even seen any of those yet. Has anyone, though, seen... Yam? Taro? Chicken egg? Not any of the things I was looking for, but... Still good. Oh, claw machine. And a variety of... Oh, prizes for... Claw machine work. Cute. What's this over here? Something mid-construction, looks like? Neat. Hmm. These seem like they are for breaking. This may not do it, though. I'm gonna need something a little more... break capable. What if... What if? What if I were to make use of... Some of the nearby tools. Hmm. Sturdier than I expected. This does seem like something to be to break, though, so like. Hmm. What other sort of destructive means might I have around? Maybe that's the puzzle. Could use this... I mean, the lamp has been good against other kinds of enemies, but it seems like y'all are kind of using this. That would be rude. Hey. Oh, sorry. Someone was calling out to me, and then I saw a thing pop up on screen, but it was two entirely different things. Tell you what. I think that I'm gonna need to actually do a good bit more <laughs> work in here to actually achieve my goals and find all the things I need. So let's just go ahead and call it. I am very curious to see uh, this game when it uh, fully releases. I don't know if they have a release date for it yet. If they do, I'll add it in the description. And if not, then, well, <laughs> we'll all just wait for an announcement. But uh, yeah, this is really cool. I'm glad that this is a thing getting made, and it turns out it is actually pretty fun to wander around and explore and just uh, try stuff out. And I do feel like I've 
still only really seen a small fraction of what the full game entails in terms of all the things you can do and stuff you, you can interact with and systems and stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little preview. Thanks again to the uh, creators for sending a preview key our way. I'm excited to see the full game when it's done. But yeah, thank you also for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for whatever it is we're playing right now. Kingdom Hearts something, I'm thinking. <laughs> I've lost track. Anyway, take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time for something else. Goodbye!